We're, we're at right crunch time now, can have no mistakes, and I couldn't be happier with exactly how we went. Amelia was, Leah Green is a girl that rides him, and she couldn't, and she just says, you know, he handled Keeneland really, really well. He loves Churchill even more, so could be scary, could be scary. Well, speaking of Keeneland, talk about his race in the bluegrass. You know, that was kind of, I think, his coming out party. You know, we've been waiting for him to kind of figure it out a little bit more, especially at the start of the race, and get engaged a little bit more. And, and he did all that. He got engaged, he settled, and he came home strong. I think, you know, the um, figuring it out early on, it might have took a little more out of his punch coming home. And hopefully with this race, he can get out a little bit easier, do it on his own terms, but still be closer and come home even stronger. Obviously with his price tag, there were always high expectations of him becoming what he is now. But at what point when you guys started working with him, did he really start showing you the signs that, you know, he's that he has the potential to, to go ahead and live up to that price tag? Correct. Yeah, you know, he early on did everything right. And you raised him in eighth and he went 12 and two or three. He went okay, a quarter okay. Three eighths and you put him down on the rail and we have company the juices started coming, the competitive juice started rolling. He really started moving, but he always had this huge stride, so you knew when it was going to be better. But it was probably when he got to three eighths and a half is when he really did. And then he just thrived under Todd's program. How much great. confidence did did he show to everybody when he was battling down the stretch? In, in the bluegrass? Yeah, in the, the bluegrass. Oh, in the bluegrass. Um, I was funny because I was with Jeannie that morning. We I was at... Uh, Keeneland that morning because we had a horse in the uh, wood and so we checked in and left and so we watched it from Belmont me and the, the our veterinarian Dr. Bonner Clark anyways and, and it was like I had no doubt that he was going to be there the whole time I mean he I thought he had his measure I thought Saez was asking him you know and and verified a super horse I mean I think he's a really nice horse but I was pretty confident there people won't believe it but I was pretty confident in Tampa and that was it that was a harder one to yeah. swallow but just when he as soon as he got to the open that stride is phenomenal. And how key is that for, especially for a young horse, to have that experience of looking another horse in the eye and showing that that medal and fighting on, especially when he's going to be with 19 of his closest friends on Saturday? That's what it's all about. I mean, you have to have that competitive juice. You know, we came here last year with Charge It with half the races, and, and I think if we could have had as many, we could have had a, hopefully a similar result with this. But I do, it's all about being competitive. It's all about, you know, they, and some horses, you know, they find ways to lose. This horse finds ways to win. He, he, whatever comes up, he figures it out. Whatever battles. I mean, Eli was third the first time, and then he's got you know, win all wins since then. So he just he figures out a way to win, and that is going to be important next Saturday for sure. With like, the works behind you, what what would the next six seven days be like for you in the connections? It's a it's a it's this was a big thing to get over. So mm -hmm. it comes out of a good you know we're going to enjoy the ride. Mandy, you know, for her to come again twice in two years, you know, we're going to enjoy every step of it. We're going to do the draw on the trainer's dinner and just just take it all in because it's hard to get here. I mean, it's hard to get here, let alone with a horse that has a really good shot. And, you know, so hopefully, again, the horse does well, everything's good there, but we're going to enjoy every step of it. Every step of it. I was going to ask you about charge at last year for Mandy and, of course, Todd Tree. Mm -hmm. <coughs> Excuse me. But, uh, lively race. Different Correct. Horse. Different scenario, you know. I mean, I think Charger has a ton of ability, and I don't think you've seen the best of him yet. He's still coming, but but coming off the Florida Derby where he was still a little green down the lane, you know. Less, I, I don't I don't regret running him because I still think we had a really good shot. He had a physical issue with his throat, but um, um, this horse is a different story because we have so much more experience and, and a different type of horse. They're both tappets, but different type. Of horse. Yeah, Mandy was saying what a great experience it was last year with the horse who didn't hit the board. I mean, with going in with a horse that is not a long shot, that's going to be it, one of the favorites. It is. You know, this was a great one because it was a purchase. Last year was a homebred, and we had bought the mare. So those those from breeder standpoints mean even more. But we kind of feel like we are with Gainesway being a partner with this horse, and we've seen we had seen him at the farm before we you know before we bought him, and now and then we came back and we believed in this horse enough to buy his full sister for a million one before he even ran back in November. That's what he was showing us. So we kind of put our put our uh, 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 money where our mouth was about about doing what we felt like the horses were building. Around. So, Mandy's put a ton of millions and millions of dollars into this game, and it seems like the payoffs really come the last couple of years. You know, these things take time, you know, especially from a breeding standpoint, you know, and she believed in Tappet, and, you know, for her it's just taking time, but these, you know, the big mares are producing good foals and coming, and then the, the daughters of those are even doing more, and it's all coming full circle, and I couldn't be happier for her. She's, and she is really enjoying every bit of it.